this is called as bowling green and the front is this is four feet ahead this green is called as popping green and the two two pieces these are these two pieces these are return green this is four feet from this way to this way and then four feet ahead to this way and these are the creases and this is 17 inches from return crease this is for the uh, guideline to judge a wide ball so when I, why, why this line is here why this return piece here because of that if a right arm bowling is bowling if he is just touching his left feet uh, his, sorry his right feet in this field this will be considered a no ball mm -hmm. whenever a baller will come right arm bowling over and he will go in this way this is not a no ball mm -hmm. but if he will go in this way and in this way this will touch this way this line it will be called a no ball by the umpire straight away okay then there are two other uh, lines which I am not mentioning here but it should be these are from middle stump to one feet this way and one feet this way and from this popping grease to five feet ahead this way and this way and both ends that end and that end so this uh, this width is in length is 66 feet so it means 48 feet in length and two feet in width this area is a protected area where the ballers and the batter cannot go they are not allowed to go there if they will violate they will go to that protected area which is commonly known as uh, danger area the batter will be given the first warning it is a team warning if he is out his next batter will come the umpire will say your team has one batting uh, violation of the danger area warning so you will repeat it then five penalty runs will be given away the runs they made that will be reversed that will be disallowed and five penalty runs will be given for baller this is an individual warning if the baller will violate the protected area first he will given the warning caution second time he will do it he will give the second warning and if he will do it third time he will give the third and final warning and then after that he is not allowed to bowl in that particular inning if it is a one day match that he is not allowed to bowl in that match and if it is a two inning match he is not allowed to bowl in that inning so these are the important sections which I have given to you thank you thank you uh, Mr. Aftab one question that I can ask remember that yes. we were talking about the no ball oh, yes. and it's hitting the wicket directly if the ball comes above the waist and hitting the wicket and you mentioned about something very interesting about popping crease can you help me understand yes. Yes. what makes it a an out or a not out based on the batsman stance okay. Standing here, the ball is about base side, straight away to the low ball. But if a batsman coming down the wicket, and then if it is here, it will not start the low ball. The other thing which is very important, then if a baller is balling from that end, and it's, uh, the ball is only outside this uh, 10 feet uh, width of the pitch, or uh, partially on this, this is called uh, no ball. But if the baller ball and it pitch here, straight away, straight away out of the 10 feet but uh, beyond the stump it will be called a wide ball so there is a difference if it will be beyond the stump out of the 10 feet it, it will be wide if it is before the stump partially or wholly out of the 10 feet width it will be called a no ball and there is a difference of no ball and wide ball is that uh, no ball after no ball create and, and after wide ball there is no create that's all thank you Mr. Thank you. really appreciate it thank you.